Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about completing the square. Okay, so completing the square is a, pro is a method in mathematics wherein um, you will be given a trinomial, okay, a quadratic trinomial, um, not in the proper form, and you will uh, try to look for a constant that you will add to that given quadratic trinomial to make that as a perfect square trinomial okay so again our aim is you are given a quadratic trinomial and you want it to become a perfect square trinomial okay so let me just um show you an example before we proceed with the actual processes okay so let's say we have um, x squared plus 4x minus 3 now in this case you will notice that this given is not in the uh, this given is just a quadratic trinomial quadratic trinomial in the sense that you will have um, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero so this is a quadratic trinomial but when we talk about a perfect square trinomial perfect square trinomials are given okay are given that can be determined uh, for example you have a quadratic trinomial not all quadratic trinomials are PSTs or perfect square trinomials. And you can test that by just simply doing the following. Okay? Um, taking the middle term and then dividing it by 2. Okay? Taking the middle term, dividing it by 2 and getting the square. So for example, you have 4x. So you will have b over 2 square. And in this case, this would be 4 divided by 2 square. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 2 square is equals to 4. So if that if that number is the same as this one and our um, uh, x squared our lead the lead, the to call this the numerical coefficient of our leading term okay is one one lang yan wala siyang katabi basically and again this is equals to b over two squared then therefore our given is a pst okay and if you would be uh, recalling ang pst lang naman is just simply the answer for any square of binomial. So what do I mean by that? If I have say x plus 2 squared, the answer here is x squared plus 4x plus 4. So partner sila, a PST and a SB or square of binomial. So that is our aim for completing the square. We must make our given as a PST. Dapat magawa natin siyang PST. Okay? So how do we do that? Okay? The first step that we will be doing is just simply, first step, take take b and perform b over 2 squared okay so our b is of course this one the middle term so we, uh, i mean just simply the numerical coefficient so we will have 4 divided by 2 squared is equals to this would be equals to 2 and 2 squared is just simply equals to 4 so let me write that down properly ah dito sa baba this would be um, 2 squared. And 2 squared is of course equals to 4. And what would happen to our given now? So what would happen would be, the next step is, add b over 2 squared to both sides. Okay? So add b over 2 squared to both sides. So in this case, um, we will have x squared plus 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. So before we add that, just as a side note for this step number 2, we remove first everything that is beside x squared plus bx. Okay? So meaning, we will remove the constant. So we will leave it as this one. Hindi pat natin sa kabila, it will give us positive 3. Now again, our b over 2 squared is we know that it is 4. So we add 4 on both sides. Okay? And after that, simply evaluate on the other side, which is 3 plus 4. The answer is um, 7. And in this case, you will factor this out. This will give you x plus your, ano, your number inside here plus b over 2. This would be b over 2. And we know that b over 2 is just simply 4 divided by 2. So it will give us plus 2. And then just add the square. So, where will I get that plus 2? Kung ano man yung sagot nyo, whatever you answer here as the second line of the equation of our step number 1, that would be your um, b over 2, or which is simply 2. And this is already done. This is already your completing the square. Okay? You have already completed the square. And this would be the final step. Okay? Um, add, let, let, let's uh, just add the final step as, ano, add and factor out. 
yung step number 3 na lang natin. Factor out. Okay? So, let's have another example. Um, say we have, let's make our example smaller para mag-cash yung equation. Say we have x squared plus 6x um, minus 3 is equal to 0. Yan. So, again, what do we need to do? We need to get b over 2 squared. Okay, b over 2 is 6 over 2 squared. And this would be 3 squared. Second line of the equation. And this would give us 9. Okay? So, meaning, lipat natin. Let's uh, transfer this one to the other side. It will become plus 3. Positively, I mean. And then, what we need to do is just simply add b over 2 squared on both sides. <coughs> Excuse me. Yan. And what would happen next is just simply... Factor, uh, evaluate mo to, 3 plus 9 is of course 12, and evaluate this one. So again, in this case, ang ginagawa natin dito, um, to make it simpler for you guys, we just simply take the variable you are using, plus whatever is inside, which is of course, that's a positive 3, so we'll have positive 3, and you put the square, done. Okay, another example, say we have x squared minus 8x plus 5 is equal to 0. Yan. So, the important part is this one. Kahit sumobra yan, like minus 3, meron sa kabila, okay lang. Long as this is the important part. Okay? So, let's get b over 2 squared. This is negative 8 over 2 squared. Negative 8 divided by 2, the answer is negative 4 squared. And the square of any negative number is equal to positive. So, we still have positive 16. Then again, go back to our equation lipat nyo yung hindi nyo kailangan, which is si minus 5. Add 16 on both sides, kasi yun yung sagot nyo sa b over 2 squared, plus 16. Evaluate this side, this would be um, 11, positive 11, and take the x, plus the number on the second, ano, on the second um, row of the um, solution, this is negative 4, or minus 4 na lang, is plus negative 4, remember. But it's just uh, simply minus 4 lang din. And then get the square. And then you're done. Yun lang. Okay? Now, completing the square would actually work even if you have multiple variables inside. For example, I have, um, sorry, wait lang. x squared plus 2x um, plus uh, y squared minus, um, say, 10, 10y is equals to negative 7. So, we will take this individually. This one and then this one. Okay? So, you will have 2 b over 2 squared. Okay? This one. Let's take it. Let's uh, solve this one using the yellow marker. Ito. And this one we will solve using the violet marker. Let's solve the, the yellow one first. We need the b over 2 squared. Okay? The b over 2 of this one is 2 over 2 squared. 2 over 2 is 1 and 1 squared is 1. Okay? And then, let's solve for our violet one, the b over 2. b over 2 squared is equals to negative 10 over 2 squared. Negative 10 divided by 2, the answer is negative 5 squared. And we will have positive 25. So, meaning I will add 1, sorry, I will add 1 and 25 on both sides. My marker for a while. Okay, okay so we will have... This one, space natin, x plus 2x, space, plus y squared minus 10y, is equals to negative 7. So, again, we will add plus 1 here, sorry, it should be yellow, okay. Plus 1 here, and also plus 1 here. Now, on the other hand, for beside y, we will have plus 25, and plus 25 again. Okay, so what's next? We evaluate as is, so, negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6, negative 6 plus 25, the answer is 19. Okay? And on this case, and this case as well, what would happen is, we try to factor it out using yung method na ginagamit natin. In this case, you take x only. And then again, you take the middle, uh, the second line of the equation of the, uh, the second line of the solution, which is positive 1. Get the square. And then since it's always plus, so it's always plus, kasi yan yan. Then, we will have again, take y and take the middle or the second line of the solution, negative 5 squared. And you have already completed your square. 
Okay? So, let's have our final example so that we will not take long. Say I have a squared minus um, 4x plus 2 plus um, say we have z squared minus 12x, uh, 12z is equals to 7. Again, hindi natin kailangan to. So, ililipat natin sa sa kabila. Okay? So, pag nilipat natin sa kabila, it would be a squared minus, uh, this is a, sorry, this is a, minus 4a space plus z squared minus 12z is equals to, yung plus 2 magiging minus 2. So, magiging siyang 7 minus 2. Okay? Now, we take yung ating hinahanap na b over 2. In this case, mad, uh, I will solve mentally, b over 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 squared is plus 4. 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 6 squared is plus 36. Okay, so we will add here on this side. Mag dadagdag tayo, ito magiging 5. We will have plus 4 here and plus 36. Kung ano man yung inad natin dyan. Okay, and then finally, evaluate this one. 5 plus 4 plus 36, the answer is 45. And this one, let's try to factor out. This is a minus 2. Bakit? Negative 4 divided by 2, the answer is negative 2. Get the square. Next, we have plus pa rin. Z, negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6, so minus 6. And that would be our completing the square. Both either um, a single, um, single quadratic trinomial or um, two quadratic trinomials. Okay po? or quadratic equations you could say okay so that would be all thank you for listening everyone if you would have any other questions you can ask me in our you can view the video again or ask me in our class thank you again and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh